All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here from Seven Figure Business Consulting. In this video, I want to talk about your time, your time as a business owner. And I want to give you a word of warning, and that is if you don't scale your online coaching, consulting, or agency business, then your time will always be bound to random small tasks that you have to do. You might see yourself in a situation like that, maybe you're making you know, six figures, multiple six figures a year, and a lot of the tasks that you're doing on a daily basis are small tasks, repeatable tasks, delegatable tasks, if that's a word. And this was a big lesson for me, really transitioning from a six-figure to a seven-figure business. I had this whole issue of like, only I can do this, only I can do it right, or funnily enough, this might be something you resonate with the most with, I'm too busy to delegate this. While well, you're too busy doing the small tasks in order to be able to delegate these small tasks, which would free up some more time for you. And that kind of it gets you in this in this downward spiral where you're too busy to make yourself less busy and you just keep being too busy and again that also puts a cap on your profits and obviously also on your revenue in terms of you can't generate more because you're too busy and downward spiral right and i want to talk about how to get out of that if i see if i look at the lessons for my very own businesses, both seven-figure businesses that I've built, as well as our clients' businesses, um, what you have to realize is the following. Everything you do in your business should eventually be only a one-time task. Meaning, every task that is repeatable that you're doing can also be systemizable. That's where there's a lot of weird words I'm throwing around here. Anything that is repeatable can be systemizable. And if it's systemizable, it can be delegatable. If you can systemize it, you can delegate it. How can you systemize things? Well, anything that you do more than once. Meaning, I'll give you an example. Shooting YouTube videos. Which aspect of this has to be done only once? Well, it's me speaking to the camera. The editing part of it is always the same. I used to edit my own videos for years. Stupid mistake. It took me, it probably cost me a lot of money and opportunity costs, but the way these videos are being edited, if you really think about it, here's how to cut out any mistakes, here's how to edit the intro in, here's how you do the color grading, here's how you do the outro, the call to action. It's all repeatable. It's always the same for each video, meaning I built a system around it. The moment I had a system, I gave that system to an employee and I basically said, well, go do this, adhere to the system. That means I've completely removed myself from the video creation and also video publishing aspect. All I have to do is I walk into the frame and I start speaking. And the moment I finished, I said, thank you very much for watching. I step out of the frame and I can go back to work. The entire process all the way up to the publishing has been systemized and delegated. I have an extra back office worker who gets the finished video, understands what title to put in, understands where the thumbnail goes, understands basic level SEO to make sure that the tags are in there and so on and so forth to make sure what links do we need to get in the description. It's all systemized, which means ultimately what I'm doing in my business myself is only the one-time task, such as speaking to the camera or such as being there for my clients, right? So what I do most of the time is I'm on the phone with my clients. A lot of these questions that they have, if they're just basic questions, what do I put on my website, can also be done by an expert of my team who I have hired and trained. So I'm there for the more important decisions of the clients that they really need to take or anything where they do need to have my attention or wish to have my attention. And, and that's really interesting. So big first lesson here is everything that can be that is done more than once can be systemized. And if it can be systemized, it can be delegated. Um, that's in terms of business procedures, but I took that thought even further. I, I put that into my life, into my own personal life. And this is something that we see a lot of six figure a year clients struggle with to make that step to delegate a lot of things in their private life, such as cleaning lady, right? I don't clean my own apartment. First off, it's huge. I don't know how many square, you know how many square meters are in? I don't even know. It's two, two floors. Am I gonna clean this thing myself? It's gonna take me literally half a day. And uh, I used to always clean my apartment back in the days when I was a student. Of course, I would clean myself. Well, nowadays I hire a cleaning lady to do that because ultimately, to be quite frank, the time that I spend cleaning it is 
is much better off invested if I invested in our clients, if I invested at, at, at money bringing um, uh, activities, right? There's, th this, is, this is relatively widespread knowledge, you probably have heard that too. There's $10 uh, an hour tasks, there's $100 an hour tasks, there's $10,000 an hour tasks and so on and so forth. If I create a great video or if I shoot an ad, that's $100,000 an hour task easily, right? If, because it takes me maybe an hour to shoot that ad. If I do my dishes, that's a $10, hour, $10 an hour task. So if I spend my time doing the $10, hour, $10 an hour task, I'm losing a lot of money because I could spend that exact same hour generating over $100,000. So what do I do? I hire a cleaning lady to do so, right? Same goes for a cook. I hire a cook. Why? Because I don't want to spend my time having to go to the grocery store, having to think about what to cook. That's the next thing. I want to use my brain to think about bigger things that can actually help more people. Nobody's being helped if I spend my valuable time now thinking about what do I cook, what ingredients do I need, where do I buy that, and so on and so forth. I literally hire a cook and I pay that cook or that cleaning lady good money and I'll be happy to do so. So if you really think about it, if you do such things yourself, it's a lose-lose. Why? Let's look at it. You clean and cook yourself. It's a lose for your personal life because it costs you time and time is actually the only valuable thing in the world. So you're never gonna get that hour back that you spend cooking or cleaning up, especially if you have a business, right? This obviously is a video about business owners. So you lose on a personal level. Your business loses as well because that hour that you spend cleaning and cooking, it's not an hour because if you cook and clean, it's probably gonna take you more than one hour a day. That hour could be spent on your clients could be spent on shooting content, could be spent on building your business, bringing your business further, right? Most importantly, let us talk about your clients. That hour that you spend on menial tasks is also a lose for your clients because every hour that you spend cooking is an hour that is being taken away from your clients. In that hour, you can coach your clients, you can help them with whatever issue it is that you're helping them with. So it's a lose, 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 lose. Now, let's assume you're hiring a cleaning lady you're hiring a cook, or even to stay with the business example, you're hiring someone who does specific tasks within your business. It's a win, 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 right? Why is it a win? Well, it's a win for your personal time because now you don't have to do that, which means you have more time. It's a win for your business because now you can invest that time into your business and the time that you invest in your business is leveraged by a multitude, right? Now, crazy enough, if you keep thinking about that, it's a win for the person that you hire. It's a win for the cook, it's a win for the cleaning lady, it's a win for the back office worker because you're giving them the greatest gift someone could, could give someone in, an, uh, in a capitalistic society and that is the gift of employment. So now the cleaning lady wins because she has a job, especially in times like these, she has a stable income that you can give her, right? Now you can even say, well, her family wins through that because now she can you know, be there for her family, financially speaking. Now, uh, your clients win through that because now you have more time for your clients, which means the life quality of your clients goes up, so even their family wins. So it's literally just a win, 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 win throughout the entire bank, if you really think about that. Here's the issue that most people have though, especially when they're making some money already. It's oftentimes, if you're an entrepreneur making your 10, 20K a month, it's very likely that you come from a humble family middle class background, such as I did. We were kind of lower middle class, but we were still middle class, I would say. What do you grow up with hearing? If you're like me, you probably heard, you know, maybe your mother or your father or your family talking about, oh, so-and-so still does their own dishes. Oh, look how proud. Like, it's so humble to do that, right? It's almost like it's being romanticized for someone of a high caliber to still do these menial tasks. It's being romanticized. Isn't that beautiful if you see Johnny Depp going to the grocery store like a normal person? That shows that he's not better than us. In reality, it's stupid, it's foolish. Why? Because there is no honor in doing small BS tasks. Understand that. There is no honor in doing tasks that are below your pay grade. In fact, it is foolish you're a fool if you do that, and you're a fool if you're proud of that even more. I'll give you an extremer example to really hammer in that point. Think about Elon Musk. What does Elon Musk work on? You can hate him, you can love him, whatever. For the sake of example, let's take Elon Musk now. So, 
Elon Musk has 24 hours a day. Let's assume he sleeps six to eight hours a day. It means he has, you know, uh, 18 hours left, 16 to 18 hours left. Now, if he spends two hours of his day going to the grocery store and cooking himself, you know, the middle class might applaud that and say, oh, so great, Elon Musk, he's so such a humble person. But in reality, this dude, in the meanwhile, could literally save humanity by sending people to Mars and creating new innovative in, uh, technology that can literally save this planet and the people that live on it. But thank God, instead of doing that, he's doing his own dishes. Nobody's being helped with that false sense of humi humility, right? Nobody's being helped. If you're proud of doing these small BS tasks, it's a lose, lose, lose. So get on the win, win, win side. Start delegating things. And I've kind of talked about this here in this video with a metaphor for life, but this also really, really is important for you if you build a business. If you don't scale your business, if you find honor in doing all these things myself, you're a fool and there, you should not be proud of that. And if you think, oh, I'm the only one who can do that, you strongly overestimate yourself. I talk out of experience. I've done this for years. Some people sometimes ask me, Max, what's your biggest regrets? I always say in general, I don't have any regrets. Everything I wanted to do, I managed to do. Every goal I've ever had, I've reached, right? But this one mistake I really feel I did was I started delegating far too late. I could have probably built my both multiple seven figure businesses much faster if I had started delegating first, but I did not delegate for two, three, even if not even four years. And that was a big mistake because you can do a lot in four years, a lot. I have really missed that. Ultimately, I'm happy things turned out the way they are. That's good, but I think I could have done it faster. By the way, if you haven't done so yet, give me a follow on my Instagram account. I'm posting on there every single day. I'm posting on there on the stories. I'm posting on there on the, um, uh, on the feed. I'm also replying to all DMs. So definitely check out my Instagram account. You probably have your phone in your hand right now. So uh, go give a follow. Now, if you're still watching this, you probably hopefully now know the importance of your time as your as the business owner. You probably realize that you have to start delegating these things, especially in your business. And if you're worried you cannot do that or if you're asking yourself how to do that and what other procedures are there to scale your business right to literally scale your business so you increase the revenue while at the same time decrease the amount of work that you have to do then book a free consultation call with us right now there's a link down description below or a link that appears right here somewhere there and you can use that link to book your free consulting call what happens is you click on there it brings it to a page and then on that page you will find a button you click on that and then you fill out the application. It takes you two minutes to fill that out. Just some basic information about your business, where you are right now, so we know a little bit of information about that. And then you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. On that free consulting call, we'll basically be analyzing your business. We'll look at where you are right now, and we can tell you the exact implementable steps you need to take in order to scale your online coaching, consulting, or agency business. We've done this hundreds of times before. We know all the pitfalls. Regardless of what your offer is, I can tell you it is scalable. You can indeed increase revenue while at the same time decrease the amount of work you put in. Regardless of what your niche is, we've seen it with all kinds of regular niches. We've seen it with all kinds of exotic niches. We've seen it all, all right? Uh, I can tell you right away, we're not going to give you some, some, some watered down mainstream BS advice. We are actually known to be quite direct and we're known to be heavily focused on only implementable steps. So I can guarantee you this free call will be massively beneficial for your business and for your life. So like I said, there's a link down in the description below. You'll be talking to a real person on the phone, not an automated bot funnel or anything like that. You'll be talking to a real person. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Talk soon. Bye-bye.